Hi, this is Janet Gallen welcoming you to Love Letters Live, and we are back in Mr. Rosenberg's art class. We're going to talk about something a little different. I mean, we don't ever really know what we're going to talk about, but Mr. Rosenberg. Yes. I'm going to let you say hello first, and then I'm going to- Hello, everybody. Uh, this is uh, Mr. Rosenberg in drawing and painting. We're in San Leandro, right across the Bay Bridge, uh, you know, neighbors with uh, Oakland. And I'm here with about 31 high school students, grades nine through 12. Now, is, is that who's in your class now? You have 31 students? I do. I'm going to turn the camera around so you can see everybody. Please. OK. Everybody say hi. Hey. Oh, hi there. Yeah, oh. I, chose, I chose this. I wanted to talk to you at this time of day because my fifth period class, they're very lively and fun to talk to. OK, I, I've got a I've got a thought and it's a little bit I have always been pretty obsessed with color ever since I was really a little girl. And I think that's not uncommon. So I wanted to talk about color and I wanted some of your students to come talk to me about color. That sounds like a great I, idea. I, it, were you obsessed with the colors that you wore or more the-, the uh, Everything, every, uh, I mean, I still remember the exact blue of my favorite dress when I was two and a half. It's a little crazy, but I don't think I'm alone. And I, I thought I would like to talk if you and your students felt like it about the importance of color in our lives. Okay, so let's talk about the importance of color. Who who has a favorite color or- Oh, or that, that was gonna be my next question. Okay, good for you. Let's have Journey come, she's right here. And okay. I know, I can see Journey's wearing a colorful shirt. Okay, hi Journey. Journey, what, why are colors important to you? Um, hi. Hi. Uh, colors are important to me because I don't know, like, I like a lot of different colors. I like, see so you like pink. Yeah, like pink and red. Do you red. think about colors when you're, mm. you know, wearing colors? You have green in your hair. Uh, yeah, I think about mm. color when I'm... You know, we're so often defined by color. And, and I just wanted to, um, Mr. Rosenberg, you had said, do you have a favorite color? That was going to be my question. I want to know how many people in your class, maybe by a show of hands or something, know the favorite color of their best friend? My best friend's favorite color is pink. You what? I said my best friend's favorite color is pink. Okay. And she knows your favorite color? Yeah, she do. What is it? It's green. Oh, oh, I love green. Kelly green or forest green or olive or what? I like all green, but I really like darker green more. Do. Yeah. Okay. So, so how many of you know your, uh, the color, your favorite, your best friend's favorite color? Okay. I'm seeing about 10 hands. You know, it's one of the things, and you guys tell me what you think. Journey, tell me what you think. Um, if when you first meet somebody and you're starting a relationship, whether it's a romantic relationship or a close friend relationship, one of the things that we ask each other at some point is- What's your favorite color? Yes, that's just like a standard. I know. Yeah. Isn't that odd? It, it, it's part of a definition of somebody says, my favorite color is dark gray. I know. <laughs> so I you're know. laughing. I feel like other people's favorite colors sometimes like define who they are a little bit because I don't know, it's like certain colors attract certain people. So, you know, whatever color you're attracted to the most, I guess. That's I, I have a very close friend and all she wears and it's, she wears black, beige and um, something she calls stone, which is kind of tinned, tinged with a tiny bit of mossy, but mostly it's black and beige. Mm -hmm. And that is her. If I saw her walking down the street in a pair of bright red capris with a print top, I would walk right past her. Wow. Yeah. She's just not somebody you would talk to, like, based on the color she's wearing? I, I just wouldn't recognize her. Oh, okay. Because she would be having something different. She is so defined, yes. So, Mr. Rosenberg, you're wearing blue. What's your favorite color? I think my favorite color is orange. Really? With, yeah, bright, bright like orange. orange 
Yeah, I like orange. I'm an orange type of guy. Okay, okay. Um, you know, know, it took me a long time to realize that. I just want to say, I, I wasn't sure what my favorite color was, but it's a color that I don't have a lot. I don't wear it a lot. I don't you like looking at it a lot. I just like looking at it. It, it, it. I like the color orange when I see flowers, when I see sunsets, uh, uh, you know, when I whether it's fish under the sea or coral. I mean, we, just, talked, we talked about that last time because we were talking about yeah. fl fluorescent things not being found in nature. Yeah, it's just a really beautiful color. But you do. Um, so do you know, okay, can I tell you a little story? Okay. Tell me if you, if you know this or you know anything about it. I never cared for the color blue. It was off my list, no blue clothes, no blue, nothing, blue, all of it, goodbye. I just wasn't attracted to it. And then one day I woke up and I couldn't get enough blue. I just loved it out of I nowhere. Wear, I wear blue the first day of school. I wear blue uh, sometimes on Mondays. You know why? No. It's a safe color for students. It, it feels safe. It, it oh, brings a, a sense of safety. You know, it's associated with authority and safety and royal, royalty. So it just brings a calm sort of- well, True blue, calm. trustability. Yeah, trustability, loyalty. So you do that with all your outfits? Uh, well, I just choose blue on days that I think the students are, are gonna, are just needing a, a figure to feel safe by. Oh, nice. Like if it's, if, it's a, if it's a cold wintry Monday, mm -hmm. and I'm feeling students don't wanna be in school, I'll wear blue. If it's the first day of school, I, I want them to feel safe. And if you showed up with something really out of character in terms of the color you wore, they'd notice. I, I think I would notice. What, what would be out of character for? I think because you usually wear blue, like, or just regular, like, colors. Like, I don't really ever see him in, like, black or, I don't know. He's pretty much always in blue, I think. So, or, like, white or tan so so authoritative it's possible white, tan white tan blue it, those are the I, very neutral colors yes okay so so you bring up what well, i was gonna tell you about blue so i had read about or heard about both actually i think some culture and i forget where um on this planet and a tribal culture not a culture that i guess i guess used to a lot of you know signs and neon and magazines and, and they did not have a word for the color blue they had the other colors and no like word for culture the, are you I, I don't remember what it was but i was struck by the fact and the interesting thing was you could probably google something like that mm -hmm. i'll try to do it and send it to you and interesting because the sky and the waters and the oceans and the rivers all blue they had no word for blue but they had all the other things that you mentioned, uh -huh. you know, uh -huh. sky, water. Right. Oh, uh, yes. I mean, we all have the sky. And if, you know, we're lucky we've got water around us. Certain insects are very blue. So, so you, you can choose colors to present yourself as you think others want to see you. Okay. Yes. And do you ever choose a color, like if you're going out with somebody, a color that you know they like? Oh. I feel like it's like sometimes people will you'll you'll see stuff like where it'll tell you what color is more attracting like what color to wear on a date for someone to be more like engaged with you or something but i don't really do that oh, wait a so you you've read about this yeah i feel like i think i've heard Jayana. like red is the um red is a good color to wear for people i guess when you first go on a date or oh. okay Jayana, do you ever, hey, Jayana, this is Janet. Hi, how are you, Jayana? Good, how are you? I, I, I call Jayana over here because Jayana's not wearing a mask, so we can see her. Oh, babe. okay. And you're also wearing very dignified colors, nothing crazy. Yeah. The, the question is, do you ever wear colors to impress someone that you might be going out with, like colors that they like? No. You wear colors only that you like? Yeah. What, what's your favorite color? Did I say the yellow. question properly? Okay. Sure. Okay. My favorite color is yellow. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> I know. I'm insane over it. Yes. Okay. 
Thank you. So, so you don't wear colors that someone else might like? No, I might wear colors that are right to stand out. But I don't wear colors that are right. So, you know, I, I thought you were going to say something else when, when you were talking about um, colors that you should wear on a date and colors that you can wear. There's this whole, I don't know what you call it, kind of an art or something on having your colors done so that you choose colors that are good with your skin tone and your hair. Oh, yeah. yeah, like I was seeing stuff like that for prom too. Like people will have like for dresses, like you can have like a cute dress or whatever, but it doesn't look right on your skin tone. Like, isn't that funny? Stuff like that too. Or like, I won't get something because it doesn't look right on me. Like, I like green because I feel like I look good in green. So, well, that's important. I know why green is my favorite color too. So, so, what what about you? My favorite color? I don't really wear my favorite color. Well, no, I, I was curious about that whole thing about what goes you know, with your, with your skin tone and hair tone. And I think those people who do that, they're like in the fashion business. I think they are good at something. Yeah. I, I, was, I was once with a, a friend, a kind of a colleague, and we were walking through a department store and I reached to look at a wine colored sweater and she grabbed my hand. And she said, you can't wear that. Oh, you said okay. I wear, what were you saying? I wouldn't wear, um, you what? Bright, bright yellow, like a neon yellow. I probably wear like less than yellow. Yeah. Bright yellow is good. I wore bright purple the other day, like on the weekend. Oh I, yeah. I actually grabbed one of my son's t-shirts. <laughs> and I uh my wife said she said that color looked really good on me. I've never worn purple before. But, but we she, notice it, don't we? But she's like, wow, I love that color, and you should wear that more often. And it's hard to find light purple clothing. Oh yeah, that's a nice color. Like, was, you like a, a lavender. It was a lavender. It was, an, it was a comic. Uh, it was an X Men shirt. You know, it was like the cover of a comic magazine, but a it was um, a, a light. But yeah, it was a t shirt, a graphic t shirt. And and then you know we have colors that re represent things societally, mm -hmm. like blue represents what? Royalty. Like Royalty, family. authority, safety. Sadness and coldness. Mm -hmm. Oh, okay. And green is like good and happy. Green is good and happy. And, she said. and life, uh, new life. Think of fruits and it's grass. Green. Yeah, and you think of summer. Okay, so red is considered life giving and sexy. Yeah. And but you know, yellow, which we know I like and I know that you like, is has always been, and I don't know why, the color of cowardice. What? What do you think, Mr. Rosenberg? Do you have a oh i was just going to talk about um red i've been reading about red first of all red can only you know originally it was only obtained from the parasites on cactus that right uh, in, in 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 mexico the secret of red it, there's a long history about it but it was actually from the the dead parasites on cacti in mexico and then they turn it into powder Mm -hmm. red with it but once it was discovered uh people started growing that cacti in other regions of the world now it's mostly in south america and central america but it, red is a color that actually increases your heart rate just looking at it ah. if you eat food while you're looking at red you digest the food six times faster my goodness i never heard such a thing and okay. your heart rate like doubles or triples just looking at red okay so that's what you want on a first date when you want to impress some guy oh my gosh yeah, that's, I want his heart rate to double yeah. and triple really? the that's probably that. why because it makes a lot sense. of songs about red the red rose that you present maybe that gets the heart rate uh-huh uh -huh. the heart beating yes yeah. isn't that something which you can mistake for love if you're not careful ah uh, that heartbeat you feel your heart beating and you think you're in love but it's just the red that you're looking at in the flower well, possibly so you know <laughs> there are things that that make us okay i'm gonna ask the girls this because for some reason i think women know more about it and we can get but, some boys on another question if you want okay so okay. the thing about the thing about that feeling of being in love it goes with the, the heartbeat and the sinking feeling in your stomach and what else i feel like it kind of makes you feel like nervous a little bit too yes and, and like 
maybe like shy a little bit and I don't know, really like red just makes me think of nervous, like being nervous. Okay, so all of those things that you could mistake for the feeling of being in love. It's just red. <laughs> you, just have, you just have to use your little, you know, brain here to figure out some. Yeah, well, people you have to be careful. It may be love and it may be some chemical thing going on. What about red uh -huh. lipstick? What? Why why is red lipstick so popular, do you think? Probably the same reason. Oh, I don't know. Well, red is bold. Like yeah. red lips is bold. It's mm -hmm. like, it's, it's it not really out. out the box, yeah, but it makes you stand out. Also, you know, anything I think with human beings, anything that attracts attention to your mouth. I know. Because right? that's the first thing you see your whole face. I can see why Jana likes yellow because actually yellow is the brightest color. It, it, it's yellow is the easiest to see. Mm -hmm. um, you know, it's it's the, the, the color used to draw people's attention. If you look back there at the cubbies, it's the yellow that stands out. Isn't it though? Yes. Yeah, that's kind of like your personality. You know, yeah. She likes to stand out. It's the color of sunshine and happiness. And yeah. yes. Okay. So I, I read once that purple was so difficult to make a purple dye that it was kept for it was kept for royalty for that reason. It wasn't available to anybody else. Do you know anything about that? Well, I've heard that about red and blue, and that's what makes purple. That's so, right. There you yeah, go. Like blue is extremely difficult to make. It only came from certain insects in Japan. Oh, weren't those beetles? Yes, the beetles in Japan that make the blue for blue denim. All that was kept a secret for hundreds of years. How they made blue dye, and then that's I already brutal, told, doesn't it? And I told you about the red, which is only you can only make it through these other parasites. Right. Um, so you need to combine those two to make purple. So I would think it would be twice as hard <laughs> to, to, to obtain you both. And then you gotta get the other. Yeah, you gotta get the blue and the red. Then you gotta and then put it together and then <laughs> okay, so, so, so color can also be, you know, an invitation to friendship and and romance. It can also be a rebellion. We talked about this last time, didn't we, Mr. Rosenberg? Well, I, uh, rebellion. Yes, be, I going know. against the colors. Of, I, I have a feeling these two I'm young women so right. don't know about. Certain colors you could not wear together. We talked about this last time. Oh, yeah, yeah. I, when I was raised, is there certain colors your parents wouldn't let you wear together because they don't match? Or I feel like, like my mom didn't let me wear, I think, red or something or have like red nails because she was like, it's too grown. Yeah, that's what my mom was. Oh, I can understand that. Yeah, but I feel like it's just like, you know, as a kid, you just want to have red nails. Like, you're not right. wrong. Yes. But what about color combinations in your clothing? Anything that would she wouldn't let you out the door with? I couldn't do more than two colors. Like, <laughs> she couldn't do more than two colors. Oh, interesting. Okay. I couldn't go out the house with one See, it's you know, it's a love ground. It's a battleground. It's such an interesting business. What What do some of the guys think about color? All right, let's see. Sherman. Sherman, come on over. I, come on over here, Nehemiah. Yeah, Nehemiah. Yeah, come on. Okay. Oh, he's getting some applause. I want to meet this. Yeah. So, so Sherman, Hi. Nehemiah, the, the top. Can you guys okay, see? Fellas, come in a little closer, would you? A little closer together. Um, can you see? Uh, what the topic is colors and what colors do you like to wear and what colors what's your favorite color each of you uh, purple and blue is what okay. said purple and nehemiah said blue regal and regal yes and by the way you know the whole the whole industry of uh color is huge but i don't know if you've ever seen any of you pictures of oh my goodness in africa the women you know they they were I guess dyeing fabrics and doing beautiful things with color before what before anybody else or have you ever seen pictures? Oh, well, you can. Of, of the I, dress I, and the yeah. I, I have. Have you guys seen photos of uh, traditional color? You never have. Okay, you've got to go look this up. Everybody. They're available here though, like Lake Merritt. There's a woman who sells cloth that's imported from Africa, oh, which I just right. purchased. In fact, 
I, this ties into something. Sorry, you guys got to hear this. So she's talking about colors of cloth. The colors of the cloth in Africa right now, African cloth is extremely expensive. I can see why. It's, it's, it's in very high demand. And you can purchase it by the yard at the vendors at Lake Merritt. In fact, really? right, right here in San Leandro, there's a store I went to yesterday to get my daughter an outfit uh, made in that African fabric that you're talking about. And my wife, uh, after our last show, we were talking about love letters. Now my wife is making cards at home using the African fabric to, as the, the, um, as the, the material she's using in her cards. Wonderful. She's making blank cards to sell at farmer's market. And she's using the African cloth uh -huh. on her cards because it's so beautiful. It's ex it's exquisite. It's yes, it's really something special. And so I notice you guys are dressed white, white and blue, white and blue. That's so California. Like they are true California boys. Look, white and blue, blue jeans and white t-shirts. Yes, that, that's California. Miss Janet, we should have did an outfit of the day. I'm sorry. What did you say? We should have did an outfit of the day. Yeah. So, do you guys ever wear just? Crazy colors and you're more subdued. Speak up so she can I like black. You like black, yes. Okay. And black and white are East Bay colors. Is that right? Of course. I mean, and technically they're not colors. But oh, blue, well. blue and white is totally California and black is totally East Bay here. I had no idea. Okay, tell me why you're saying neither is color because I like that. That's interesting. Because one is the absence of color and one is all combined. They're just technically not defined as colors because uh, right. you know, they're not primary, they're not secondary, they're not tertiary. So they're not colors, but we use them to mix into other colors to lighten and brighten. Uh -huh. With the white, we make tints. Uh -huh. you can see our tint table right behind. This is all colors lightened with white. Oh, look at that. Fabulous. Can you talk Fabulous. more about that? Sure. Uh, we'll just take any color. Why, why uh, not with the white, but like the green. Sherman, you want to grab another color that's so you can see we can lighten. Oh, excuse me. You would look great in that green. Who? Oh, no. They asked who? Huh? Who holding, that, holding that green up next to you? Mm -hmm. I think that's your color. So these, so we use white to lighten and brighten the colors. We use black and then to yellow. I, I don't understand. Okay, yes, go ahead. I'm sorry. No, I'm done. What, what don't you understand? So ask, ask us. They can answer. They know all about colors. Well, you know, right my husband had once said to me, I was wearing something white. He said he just did not understand why people would wear either just white or black in a world that is filled with so many fabulous colors. We got to answer we that, gentlemen. Good. Why wear white and black in a world filled with so many fabulous colors? Because black is the easier color to match with. What? It's the easier color to match with. It's you can match black with everything. It's oh, that's true. Yeah, you'd be a little hard pressed with that bright green, I guess. Okay. <laughs> well, thank you. Black, black and white are just easy colors to match with. You can wear black with anything. You can wear white with anything so what do you what do you encourage in your class well black Pardon? oh i was saying i feel like how people feel about red i feel about black you love it yeah because it's like like i feel like black looks better on people like if somebody had on red i wouldn't be like i don't know i feel like i wouldn't get that feeling how y'all were describing it but like black it looks good like oh, black always looks good. I see what you're saying. Well, you you look real good in it too. You just shine against it. Yeah, that's yeah, nice. I did at, at first. I was trying to understand, and now that makes sense. And so what she's saying is the way that some people are attracted to red. Sure. She's attracted to black. Yeah. And um, so so if it's attractive to her, that's why the boys wear it. Uh -huh. <laughs> <laughs> good point. Mm -hmm. What do you what do you encourage in your class when it comes to using color? Excuse me. Um, I encourage experimenting with colors that they don't think will look good to just try something that they're not used to using. And I encourage them to lighten their colors with white 
to mm -hmm. make a lot of brighter colors and encourage to, uh, as much mixing as possible to just really discover new colors. Um, I could walk around and show you what they're working on if you Go want. Go ahead, I'd like to, sure. Thank you, uh, Journey. Take your, take your Zoom screen with you. There you go. Oh. And see, here's a palette. Oh, that's great. So right Wait, now we're- go back, go back to that person. I'll say, we're doing figurative painting right now. So you can see his figure there. Well, yes. And you can see he's got all the primaries and secondary colors. Uh-huh. So when you, when, you, when you look at some of the greats and you look at some of the faces done, they they look like perfectly fine human faces, but you look carefully, you look at some of Picasso's, they're not any color that a human being would be. You know, they're blue and they're green and they're... Absolutely, right? absolutely. And that's what I'm explaining to students is to apply lots of colors. Like for example, Nate's, Nate's using orange for the skin color here. Oh, I like that. Are they under a street lamp? Are they under a street lamp? Yeah. 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 That's wonderful. They're on the roof of a house. Ah. I think she should see Nehemiah. Okay, let's take a look over here. He has a nice yeah, tree. Nehemiah, so oh, look at that green background. I like that. Can, is the on this one? Yes. Oh, sitting on the curb. Yes. Oh my gosh, you got the camo. I, I'm sorry. I'm just looking at the camo pants. That's okay. It's really hard to do those colors. You see those colors? Yes, I do. This, this is my palette. I took the, the green and I made it light green. Uh huh. White that we were talking about over there. That would be good. You know, I, I'm looking at these paintings, and the interesting thing that I'm noticing is that the colors certainly don't have to be realistic. They don't have to replicate nature to look natural. Absolutely. We're doing glazing. So I'm teaching them to glaze one layer on top of another. Um, so we're using all the colors. By the time the, the skin tone is painted, it's probably got maybe 10 or 10 to 15 layers of paint. Interesting. Let's go over here to uh, Ronaldo. It's, Oh, that's beautiful. And then if we come over to this table, can you hold up your painting? You know what? I'm gonna have to tell you that this, um, oh, they're telling me that we're running out of time, the Zoom people. Okay. So um, I'm, gonna, I'm gonna just have to tell you goodbye before they just clop me out of here. Okay, we'll say goodbye. Say goodbye and I hope, I hope, okay, just a word for love letters because I am hoping that um, you will, all of you take this beautiful art that you're doing. And like you said, your wife's making stationery out of it. Just write a letter to somebody, express a good thought, a memory, and just embellish that envelope, which I think you've maybe already done. Thank you. Yep, we will all write letters like we did. Maybe uh, everybody, uh, Jana would like you all to uh, practice the tradition of writing letters or a letter to someone you care about. Yes. Or someone you don't care about. Or someone you don't care about. Someone you don't care about that you would like to care about. Doesn't um, I matter. I want to say we really need materials in this classroom. Uh, uh, yes. Canvas, paint brushes, uh, paint, um, paper, pencils. So if you guys can support our classroom, you can go to www.donorschoose.org forward slash Lee, L-E-E -E dash Rosenberg. And you can donate to one of our class projects. That's Wonderful. All. And if, if for those of you who remember what it was like to get a fresh box of crayons or yeah. a, a brand new watercolor set, you can make somebody else feel that good. Thank okay. you. Thank you, Mr. Rosenberg. Hey, thank you, Janet. Bye. Thank you, class. Okay, bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Bye, Janet. Talk to you later. Bye-bye. Okay.